Officials with the U.S. Geological Survey confirmed Wednesday that an eruption has begun in Kilauea Volcano's Halemau Mau Crater at the volcano summit. Webcam footage of the crater showed lava fountains covering the floor of the crater and billowing clouds of volcanic gas were rising into the air. The same area has been home to a large lava lake at various times throughout the volcano's eruptive past. The eruption is not in an area with homes and is entirely contained within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. All signs indicate that it will stay within the crater. We're not seeing any indications that the lava is moving into the lower part of the East Rift Zone where people live. Currently, all activity is within the park. The volcano's alert level has been raised to warning and the aviation code changed to red. Earlier Wednesday, officials said increased earthquake activity and ground swelling had been detected, and at this time raised the alert levels accordingly. Kilauea had a major eruption in 2018 that destroyed more than 700 homes and displaced thousands of residents. Before that eruption, the volcano had been slowly erupting for decades, but mostly not in densely populated areas. Before the major 2018 eruption, Kilauea had been erupting since 1983 and streams of lava occasionally covered rural farms and homes. During that time, the lava sometimes reached the ocean, causing dramatic interactions with the water. Over four months in 2018, Kilauea spewed lava to fill 320,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools, burying an area more than half the size of Manhattan in up to 80 feet, 24 meters, of now hardened lava. The molten rock reduced landmarks, streets, and neighborhoods to a vast field of blackened boulders and volcanic shard. The same area of the volcano that began erupting Wednesday also erupted in December and lasted until May. These types of eruptions could be happening for years as the volcano fills up. Magma keeps coming into Kilauea at a pretty constant rate, and so it's either filling the inside of the volcano and repressurizing it, or it's coming out to the surface. The park is open and there are no road closures at this time. Officials are expected tens of thousands of visitors to flock into the park and that people need to be very careful both in terms of natural hazards and COVID-19. Thanks for tuning in to Life on the Big Rock here on the Big Island, Hawaii. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We really appreciate your support. Welcome to Life on the Big Rock. Enjoy weekly videos from the Big Island, Hawaii. Don't forget to subscribe and join in the adventures as we travel around and take in the sights and sounds. Enjoy the embrace of the warm, salty air and let the soothing relaxation set in. Experience the beauty of nature and what the Big Island has to offer. Adjust your attitude and enjoy virtual tours from the most remote islands in the world. And don't forget to always take care of this big blue rock we all call home.